So guys, I finally did it. I took an African Ancestry DNA test and I'm so excited to see my results for the first time and also share that with you guys. So if you are new to my channel, I am Sincerely Valley and I have been tracing my DNA, my African Ancestry for about one year now. So I took Ancestry DNA, I also did 23andMe and I recently just took African Ancestry which is a black owned company that really kind of pinpoints what tribe most of your DNA is linked to. I have not opened my results yet. I just received them just a few days ago, but in honor of Black History Month, so it was back in February, they had a sale on the DNA test. So we all know if you've looked at the prices on those tests, they are a lot more expensive than Ancestry and they're more expensive than 23andMe test. So it took me a while to really wanna invest in getting this test done. But after thinking about how valuable it would be for me to know where exactly most of my ancestry DNA came from, I was like, you know what? I'll take this little 10% discount, get the test and see where my DNA is from. So just to give y'all some time reference, um, let's see, they received my kit on March 29th. Okay, so I shipped it off, they received it then and my results came in on April 11th. I haven't opened it guys, so I'm excited to see what my results are going to be like. And they used to give you a certificate in the mail and all that nice fancy schmancy stuff. But from what I was seeing from recent videos on YouTube, they send you just like a link to where you can print your, print your own certificate or whatnot. So yeah, so we'll see, let's see. As soon as I get into my account, I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so this is what the email looks like. It says, congrats, your results are here. All right, this is exciting. This is the founder of Ancestry DNA. Okay, so she's the one who created this business and is helping to link people to their ancestry. View letter and view certificate. Let me view the letter first. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so it says, it is with great pleasure that I report my Matri clan test results. We have determined that you share maternal genetic ancestry with Mindy people in Sierra Leone today. <laughs> and that's exciting, guys, because I think this company um, helps you get dual citizenship if you have Sierra Leone ancestry. So that's exciting. And this is so interesting because on my 23andMe test, it kind of linked me to the Igbo people of Nigeria, but this one is saying Sierra Leone. So it's super interesting to see. So let me just continue to read what it says. It says, we compared parts of your maternally inherited DNA to that of the people from around the world to look for matches using the largest set of American mtDNA samples available today. We found identical 100% matches for you with the mtDNA of Mindy people. This means that at some point in the 500 to 2000 year history of your maternal lineage, mother to mother, there was a Mindy woman. <laughs> That's exciting. So I really have to do more research on Sierra Leonean lineage because I don't know much about Sierra Leone. Like I can locate it on a map, but that's about it. Um, but this is exciting. So I can finally say I have ancestry tied to Sierra Leone, Sierra Leonean queen. <laughs> so this is exciting. So let me see what my what my certificate looks like now. So this is so cool, guys. So it has the little roots coming up saying, welcome to the family. Okay, so welcome to the African ancestry family. All right, and there's my certificate. And then I'll be able to print this, frame this, and just keep it on the wall so I can be a proud representative of the Sierra Leonean ancestry. So guys, this is super exciting. So if you guys looked at my other ancestry DNA test, I was a majority of um, Nigerian, right? So both of those tests had pinpointed me to the country of Nigeria. So this is kind of like a, like a turntable. So to my African sisters and brothers out there that are from Sierra Leone, or if you are located somewhere near the country of Sierra Leone, 
Do I look like a Sierra Leonean to you guys? <laughs> Do you see any resemblance to Sierra Leonean women when you look at me? <laughs> I would love to see you guys' feedback on that. So just comment below your thoughts, your overall thoughts. If you are interested in seeing my other results, be sure to check out both my Ancestry DNA and my 23andMe DNA video so you can see how those compare. So moving forward, guys, this is great news. I'm happy. My little heart is content. I can now tell people that I am of Sierra Leonean ancestry. So I would say if you have the funds to take this test, it is definitely worth it. My next step is hopefully to see how I can obtain Sierra Leonean citizenship. So dual citizenship, having my American citizenship and also having one in an African country. So I feel like that'll be super beneficial because I researched that some African countries, if you have citizenship there, you don't need a visa to visit some of those African countries. And I'm trying to get myself over there to Africa. Okay. So if I can pass, I can just kind of bypass having the visa part and just use my Sierra Leonean dual citizenship to get over there, then, you know, I'm all for that. Okay, so I won't give up my American passport, but having two can't hurt. So definitely I would see that in my future. And if you guys are interested in tuning in, just continue to subscribe and watch the videos. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, do all that wonderful things. It really supports my channel. I will see you guys in the next one.